Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 where it's been a while. Hey, <laughs> I checked. It was March 1st, I think, last I opened this game. And the last time I uploaded was about a month ago. It's not giving me the exact date. Oh, March 16th. So yeah, about a month and a half ago. Anyway, this is actually sort of, I don't know when they said it was going to go up. This is sort of a test run because I was having issues with my Horizon Forbidden West videos. Uh, there was some screen... Uh, choppiness it wasn't screen tearing like in ye olden days uh, back in the the dark ages of my channel when i would have screen tearing and i would have to realign audio by hand in small chunks and it was an absolute nightmare of the time um but and but that was actually kind of at least it was obvious and i could out of the corner of my eye i could see it on the recording and i'd be able to stop the recording try to fix it and start over or, or do you know start again but these ones, I recorded four episodes without knowing, and the only reason I noticed is because I edited one to throw it up really quick on the channel, and I was like, oh no. Um, so it's not too bad, but it does get a little glitchy, and I don't want to play endgame stuff with choppy screens. Like, I didn't have to do anything crazy, but I can't fix that in post, as far as I know. Um, I'm just, I'm still just like the most basic of basic, you know, the quintessential, like, lazy let's player, I guess, you know, <laughs> so... I, uh, I don't do a ton of editing usually, <laughs> and so um, I don't know any fancy tips or tricks, but anyway, I might have edited this all out, but I had to do a bunch of like updating software and like going in and like trying to read, because I kept trying to record even this one, it tried to record it in like 4K, and I was like, this monitor is not 4K capable, please stop. <laughs> And so I had to go in and like press a bunch of buttons. I don't even I I ended up getting the output I wanted, but like <laughs> I really don't quite know what I did. <laughs> I just pressed some stuff and looked up some things. I'm a professional. Oh, we have 6 points. Okay, but as okay, so it has been a while. I do know the last thing we did was part of this. Yes. We do need to do, we need to finish the Tuchanka bomb. I still have my DLC list, so I know what we're on, what we're doing on that. But I believe this is the last thing we need to do. Um, before, like to get sort of main mission stuff going, because it appears that we have, we're mostly done, so. Okay, yeah, sorry, I did have to, I did just double check um, what we are doing, or ch double checking my DLCs, and making sure everything's working. I really hope this episode works. Like, I don't, I don't want it to be too much of a, of a guinea pig. I really want it to work. Um, let me check. We have new stuff. Webpack mercenaries, private security group. They're, what? Oh, my terminus fleet. Okay. Shadow Broker, Wet Squad, and Cool Beans. I got those. Yep. Han and Drell Forces. I thought I already looked at all this, but maybe not. First Division. Oh, this is to help with Benning. Cool. Oh, there's still more in there. The Fifth Fleet. A pair of Entrepreneurs. Yep. Krogan Power Grids are supplying energy to Purgatory. Helping the alliance of sol the morale morale of alliance soldiers only. Probably anybody, honestly. The Turian 79th flotilla. Okay. We do have their help. That's nice. I believe we've talked to everybody we need to. Again, it's been a long time since I've opened this. So let's go, let's go do the bomb thing. We could be on the front lines. Why have they got us guarding the door anyway? It's gonna break ranks right now. Or makes I'm right stupid. here. Besides, you talked with Moreau? Collectors invaded this ship and kidnapped the crew. Damn. Okay, I guess we gotta be ready for anything to come Yeah, like your commanding officer. What am I, invisible? I feel invisible. I try. I'm actually not. I I am slowly losing my capability to play with a controller. Curing the Jennifer's has right. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Hang on. We gotta go. Uh, how do I get out of here? I gotta go talk with. 
La la la, life support. I gotta go talk to Eve and Morden, or at least got like listen in and listen to their chit chat. Doctor, I'd like to hear the song. Again? Trying to calculate amino acid decay rates. You said you would once the tests were done. <sighs> oh. Better to shine the fresh Amal with shotgun blasting, roaring raw than to play ambassadorial games with the blood of Shiaga in her veins. Off to fights and stories, <laughs> diplomats instead of a crant, but she'll be true to Duchanka's dream and live and die a Krogan queen. For she is the Krogan queen, hurrah, hurrah for the Krogan queen, and it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Krogan queen. <laughs> Still prefer Patty song. <laughs> of course. <coughs> I really had to twist your arm. They're so cute. They're so cute. Really had to twist your arm. Yes, I don't think I can. There's nothing. Oop, that was not where I wanted to go. Do I have any fish to feed? Nope, everything's waiting. We're waiting on my my jellyfish to pop in. It all goes so fast now. It's incredible. It's been so long since I opened this. I had to like rearrange like I don't know why, but like every like I did this software update on the recording software, but oop, okay. Um it like wanted to change everything to like yeah, 4K and this monitor was like, "No, I can't." And I was like, "I know, darling. It's I'll fig I'll figure it out. It's okay." <laughs> Gears and where, what do we do? We're gonna find the bomb. Yeah, sure. But it made everything change, and I turned off the film green. I don't know if I've actually had that um, on the whole time. The Rieger carbine. Weight is less, that's nice. Capacity. Damage. Well, it could fire faster. Uh huh. Reduces weight. Nope. Increases damage. Fire rate. Does that. I mean, is it just like. One gall I should and the accuracy sucks. If it only shoots like one at a time with that little damage, like that doesn't make any sense. It's been a long time since I've done any of this, so like I well and I never I say it's been a long time since I've done any of these, but I don't um I don't really pay attention to the weapons too much. Honestly, it's not my... I don't really care. Oh, I need to upgrade the Phasatron. Normandy Shuttle, this is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. Eh. It's Turian. Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to take I mean, I don't know why. The ninth platoon will cover your flank, Commander. I don't with all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. I, Copy I, that, I, Lieutenant. I, th why wouldn't they be mad at the Alliance? Because it's Cerberus, who's humans. You know, they're like, 
We're gonna blame the like how do you if the bomb blows up, how do they know it's a Turian bomb? I remember this spot. Hey, I can't remember how. Can't Oh, this that's what it is. Mm, awesome, this is gonna go super well for me. I am not used to this at all. La, la, la. Where's my buttons? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, interesting. It just kind of like beams out. Let's see how this goes. Holy moly! Face. It's a freaking ballistic weapon. Oh, you darn stinking guy with the smoke things. How am I supposed to use my base as a weapon? I, I'm trying, but. Okay. It's not too long. It reminds me of the arc projector. Is there somebody else? Where are you? Where is... Where is this guy? Oh, he's in the hole! Him from here. Okay. We need to keep moving. I'm well aware. What do you think we're doing? Once we reach the bomb, Emma? we'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. Copy that. No trigger, no explosion. Whoop. <laughs> this is for the sniper boy. Incisor. Eh, we'll leave. We'll leave with the upgraded one we have, and we we can upgrade the incisor later. I shot another one. Oh, a uh, number two one. Excellent. I'm a professional. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, there's an engineer back there. Oh, I can reactivate it for myself. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I? I hope it's reactivated for myself. You could hide from me. Can I clap? Oh yeah, I can. Oh yeah. Oh nice. I hope I'm not re- Oh geez. I hope I'm not reactivating these for them, but for myself. Oh my gosh, that guy just flew. This is actually a fun gun. I'm actually enjoying it. I usually enjoy a bit more of, um... Oh, that is not far. That is not close enough. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. Whew. All right. I, did... oh, I was worried about that. What? Thank you. Oh. Oh, okay. See, there's stuff glowing in the distance, and it makes me think I've got something to pick up. We defeat the Krogan and then plant a bomb on their planet. Yeah. Pretty extreme, but... No, I, I do get it. Iconic strategy. I, I do get it. Enemies without them knowing. 
like my shepherd was like, mm, that's not a nice way to gain trust. Yeah, well, they were kind of desperate times, desperate measures, you know? Like, in a video game, we can try to take the moral high ground, at least in a lot of them. Oops. Uh, Good work, Lieutenant. <laughs> buttons. I'm sorry. Uh, like, we can take the moral high ground and be like, how dare you do that? It's you not know, like looking into the past, you know? There's stuff you can be like, mm. And there are some things where really, like, the... I was listening to a podcast about the uh, War of the Roses recently. And, um... Honestly, at least the part the, the Battle of Tur Turin or something? Um was sounds like it was brutal. See yeah, this is a this is a weird gun for me. I'd usually prefer at like a heavier impact. Well Copy that. Um anyway it's, there's obviously worse worse I don't like the sound of that examples than, you know, a battle of medieval War of the Roses. Um of like people being brutal, but like this was a, a they they brought up that it was a battle where it was like Englishmen versus Englishmen, right? Like it was, it was like civil war stuff, and so it was it wasn't like they were fighting like on the other, you know, they weren't fighting the enemies, you know, they were fighting other English people, and so oh geez, oh come on please. I'm re I was really hoping to use this as a get out of jail free. And some of the ways, at least the archaeologically, they've um, they've read some of the mass graves that they made was uh, they were really brutal even to their own people, like like beating unarmed men to death, like even despite them being like a lot of these were commoners who like didn't have a choice, you know, it's those other commoners beating up, like, they're, they're, like, all thinking they made it an other thing by, like, this is my side and that's your side and, like, in order to, like, I don't know, people do weird things and, like, like, your brain does weird things in war. It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig like, it out. Like, they'll try to justify. We won't get a second chance. Like, they try to justify their, their actions, right? Come on. I'm Roger trying to. That. I can't way. get up. Please. <laughs> uh, they try to justify their actions by creating an other. It's like I'm on this side and you're on that side. Therefore, I can. Am I crouched? Like they'll create an other if they have to, but still, like. You, We're nearly on top. Of I don't know, man. Will be back with everything they it just sounded like a you brutal war. Like 20,000 plus people died, and most of them were just common guys whose, like, lords had sworn fealty to bigger lords who were like, We're gonna be on this side. And the commoners were like, I was a blacksmith yesterday, you know? Like, my, you know, like, I don't know. It's just, I'm, I'm obviously hodgepodging this because I'm trying to play a video game at the same time, but don't come to me for, uh, Nuanced discussions of history when I'm in the middle of trying to play a video game. You're not getting away from me. Hey, you are gonna get away from me. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. Oh! Good now, but they might be useful later. Oh, super sweet. sweet. Okay, sweet. Clever. Clever what? Oh, I. We need to How did we know that? Is this a fault line? Are these charges? I. I mean, they're clearing out. Anyway, forgive me my butchered War of the Roses Super summary. The the to slow us down. One battle summary. I, need to a bypass. That'll take time. I got you, bud. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. I've heard too, I don't know if this is actually true, but that like the US military anyway still trains with like old radios, like old radio tech, just in case everything goes down. You know what I mean? So like that makes sense. You would train your military in the older tech, um, so that they could utilize it or take it apart if they need to and like repurpose it for something else. It makes sense. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. God, I am so Understood. beautiful. Starting bypass. And Thank you for making sure I get this chance. Yeah, dude. Just make it right, soldier. 
Oh, I forgot that made me jump. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look out, Commander. Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. He would have been sniped too. Like right there, right then and there, he would have been. He would have been sniped. Hang on, this one was weird. It's like a tower defense. I don't want to move too far from this place. Fire. He is? From where? Where? I don't know. I don't actually know where he is right now. I thought... Hang on. I'm confused. I don't know where he is. Javik's out here like... Ooh! Oh, should I save this, actually? I should save this. Okay, yes. I'm going to save it. You gonna you gonna come play, Garrus? Is Garrus doing anything? I mean, I'm doing my best, but I'm not 100% sure where you are, my guy. I want to save this for something big. I feel like that's going to come in, but I can't. I don't know. I can't remember if that's actually true. Can I equip, like, uh... I can't. I wonder if that actually does anything. It won't regenerate hell. Weaken armor. Well, for now we'll do this. More incoming. Need more time. I, I, you, you're fine. There's like four at a time. I think I'm playing on normal mode, honestly. I can't keep track anymore. Come on. What in tarnation? Did it freeze him? I think they're just they're just evaporating. I think I do it says I have the ammo so like you can see it. Oh, are you a, yeah, we need to get you. Like I think it doesn't even have time to freeze. Is there someone? They're sending everything they've got. Yeah, well, it's okay. I don't even know where Victus is. This is so weird. I thought he was behind me, but it's just a wall. And they're obviously they that guy was trying to run over there. Oh, eviscerated. I've just absolutely destroyed. Me. I'm not even using my guy's abilities. I'm just very focused on mine. And every time I freaking this is Oh jeez. Who's on top of me? Atlas deployed. Okay, now time Oh no, time to get the oh no. Oh jeez. Ow 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 ow. Oh jeez. Cow, he's taking so much fire. Okay, <laughs> he's already at half health. Firewall's down. I'm in. Spirits. Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It sent it. Disarm it. No time. I have to separate the trigger from the bomb now. Cover me. No time, but you have time to do that. Doing hardware 
just ripping apart the hardware is probably the better idea than trying to mess with the software. Oh, maybe he's not doing. Maybe it is a software thing. Nope, hardware. Awesome. Can't remember. I should just stop talking. And this thing is the big, it's bit like the whole thing. Wow. He's like trying to take the joints out or something. Victory at any cost. My guy. If he'd have let us know, we could have maybe tried to make a grab for him. I have biotics, really. You know, I probably could have grabbed him. Commander, I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice him more as expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause. Society first, platoon first. It's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on T'Chunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews. Yeah, now. well, that's not surprising. Understandable. <laughs> the situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. This is so far yes, sir. outside my pay grade. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. Yep. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my this planet? This was like 800 years ago. The decision was made hundreds yeah. of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb. We're lucky he knew about it. Hey, he just got turned into the Primarch. You know what I mean? Like, this guy had to be debriefed on, like, so much stuff. You know? Like, who knows how in, in, in an active war, like an annihilation war, he had to be debriefed on state secrets. And it's like, we're lucky he even knew about this. You know? Um, or at least somebody recognized it when they maybe heard chatter that Cerberus was going for something on the Krogan world. You know what I mean? Like, we're lucky he even knew about it at all. You're both wrong. I mean, just everybody get along. We can't let the past rip us apart. Working together, we have a chance. Primark, you had a bomb on T'Chunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today making this right. Yeah. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. I, this is one of those moments where, e or the moment before, where even when you take the Paragon route as Shepard, I like that she is emphatic. She's not like, let's all get along. She's like, listen here, you two, like, shape up. Like, we have to get past this. And I think she brings up, like, 
the fact that the Primarch lost his son to do this in order to save the Krokin, you know? This wasn't this wasn't something he did. This was something that the Turians did hundreds of years ago, and his, he sacrificed his own son in order to make it right, you know? And I understand Rex being upset, especially because the Krogan live much longer. So for them, this was like a generation ago. This wasn't like, you know, ten generations ago or whatever, you know, five generations ago. So it it feels different for him, for Rex, than it does for the Turians. But at the same time, yeah. And I like that you see a little bit that Shepard is, again, feeling the weight on things. Like, you see the way she's leaning on the console. You saw the way she was sitting in the, in the, in the shuttle. Like, she's not saying it, but, like, I feel like, anyway, that she's, she's taking this a little hard. Which is, like, to be expected. You know, especially considering everything. Secrets get people killed. You've learned that the hard way. Yes. The hardest lesson I'm ever to learn. He can't even mourn. Like, I want to cry right now. Like, I really, I'm tearing up, but like... What's he, like, I don't know. It seems maybe... I don't know. My son. He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. I mean, you can say that, right? That you're proud of the way they, they conducted themselves at the end, but it doesn't change the fact that they're gone. So, you know. And it doesn't change the fact that he has to keep going. So I, it's just really... I don't know. This game is very good, at least to me, like I've said it a, a zillion times, and we're only on, what, episode 35? But, like, this game really punches you in the gut, which is why it's 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 probably my second favorite. I like Mass Effect 2 the best, and I like Mass Effect 3, I think, the second best, despite it being uh, having a lot of controversy for the ending and stuff. <sighs> Just pulled from the home world... And also, like, I thought it was pretty unfair how his son was being villainized in the first place. Because, like, that's the kind of thing, like, it's, it's feast or famine when you're one of those, like, I think outside the box kind of guys. Like, especially, I'm thinking, like, military strategist type stuff. And, I don't know, I watch, um, I watch esports. I watch Overwatch League religiously. Um, and there's a couple of Lucio players in that game who are very aggressive and like sometimes they'll make really great plays right but sometimes it just seems like they're feeding and just dying over and over and you're like what are you doing you know and that's the thing like you either when you have people who think outside the box and that's what this guy did like him and had his son are known were known for thinking outside the box his son had two choices and he picked one and the one he picked was was wrong but how is he to know that both of them were bad both of, like both of them could have ended up with with the with his with his team being annihilated it, like they were you know like I don't think there were any good options there's not like the one he picked was totally bad and the other one would have been skipping through a field of daisies like there was an equally good chance that they would have been like destroyed or at least decimated I guess is a better word um so yeah I just I don't know. I thought it was a little unfair, but I understand with it as a, like if you look at it, it's like I'm a human, and that's the Turian way of thinking, you know. So it makes sense that I would be like, I don't get it. So again, Commander, thank you for ensuring my son died with honor. It's all a Turian father can hope for. But this is war. The time for mourning is later. Is there something you need? Despite everything, Primarch, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you, Commander. And I know I'm not the first to lose their son to this war. Needless to say, I'm committed to stopping the Reapers. That's all. Of course, Commander. Well, this is a weird glitch. Let's talk with Rex really quick. The Turians pull another move like that, Shepard, and this is like this, Oh my off. freaking gosh, I would. Just bear with me, Rex. <laughs> this is hard for all of <laughs> us. <laughs> I've got Reapers on my planet, a bomb that almost blew up my planet, and if those two fail, the genophage to make sure we all go extinct anyway. I don't want to hear about who has it hard. Understood. We all have it Good. hard. Good. 
Or is there something you Freddy, need? Come on, sometimes I just want to kick him in the teeth. Like, I get it. I do. I get it. But, like, it's like, like, everything he said, except for the genophage, obviously, is like, uh, something that we all have to deal with potentially like there's reapers like that's the thing though if you want to look at it it's like we all have like something coming after us trying to make us all extinct and it's the reapers like no one's gonna get away from this and like i just think it's interesting that they that he is pushing this whole like you know post post reaper thing like there's a chance for survival when like shepherd i feel like is at like a 50 50 on this you know what i mean she's i'm not sure she's 100 percent. that's it for now rex Let's get back to work. On the survival of anybody, Anytime. let alone the Krogan, you know? But these are the things you have to deal with. And I remember when I first played this way back in my young, innocent days, I was like, none of this makes any sense. Like, why would people be obsessed with this when we have a much larger issue at hand? And now I'm like, nope, I totally post-2020, post-2016 Trump era, you know? It's like, nope, I get it. Uh, I totally, yep, I s- jaded, like the Ben Affleck smoke, like cigarette thing. Like, nope, I, to- <laughs> I totally understand. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this one here. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, so to especially Reese Galito, my sampling to your patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it a lot. And I realize this is kind of coming out of the blue, but I did notice that Christopher significantly upped his pledge <laughs> and so now i'm like oh my goodness i have to make i'm not I, I don't have to but i really do want to make a third category one that i wouldn't necessarily keep but like because i don't you obviously it's not obligated to keep it that high but like you deserve your own little special higher tier for that and i really do appreciate it a lot it was not necessary i know I just, I really appreciate your support. Um, don't feel obligated to keep it there, but any, but thank you. I'm going to make you a special little tier for you as long as you want to be there. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, what do I call you? I'll call you, um, maybe I'll call this tier the forest tier because it goes seedling, you know, or acorn, sapling, tree, and then forest is like the next thing, <laughs> maybe? We'll see. <laughs> so thank you again all of you so much for your support i very much appreciate it it truly is very helpful right now with these just little cost things that have cropped up you know nothing crazy like i said but just you know unexpected things in life and so i do appreciate it very 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 much um so i hope you all have a good day thank you everybody for watching and i hope to see you in the next one